Doctor, what are the consequences of a heart attack? The heart uh, is a muscle. Okay. And so when the blood supply to the heart is decreased, the tissue in it dies. That's one of the consequences of the heart. The heart gets weak from the clogged arteries. It's not getting enough blood and it gets weak. So you may have edema, swelling of the legs, and you're not getting enough blood volume pumped out of the heart. So you're getting poor circulation, which can lead into decreased circulation to the kidneys leading to kidney weakness, decreased circulation to the brain and to the eyes because the heart is not strong enough to pump enough volume of blood out to supply the nutrients to the entire system. So it can be a multiplicity type of things that occur, but mostly is that decreased circulation that we're looking at, edema, primarily. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Doctor, I've heard you talk about uh, this before. And uh, I just want to touch upon this today. Uh, how do we improve the quality of life after a heart attack? Well, we have to look at it, at it holistically. It's not just the heart itself, it's what the person is eating and their lifestyle, whether they're exercising, whether they're eating properly, eating foods that will not clog the veins and arteries. So we're looking at a complete regimen of changing what the person was doing that caused the heart to get weak and cause the heart to have a so-called heart attack. So we have to look at the whole lifestyle of the person, essentially.